Paradise Lost Lucy Peacock is a captivating Satan in a Stratford Festival's Paradise Lost, C-Y-L-L-A Von Tiedman, written by Aaron Shields. Adapted from the original by John Milton. Directed by Jackie Maxwell. Until October 21st at the Studio Theatre, 34 George Street. S. Stratford Festraville.ca or 1-800-567-1600 Let's have a moment of appreciation for Lucy Peacock. The actor, in her 31st season at the Stratford Festival, is having an incredible moment. Not only does she elicit rounds of applause after her breathless tirades as Volume Nia in Robert Lepage's Coriolanus and receive a deity's entrance as Juno in Antony Similino's The Tempest, she manages to spew out the world's greatest evils and still remain a narrator and audience will follow into the depths of Hell as Satan in Aaron Shield's brilliant new adaptation of John Milton's Paradise Lost. Article continued Bella Peacock is just one of many reasons to see the world premiere of Shield's work at the Stratford Festival, directed by Jackie Maxwell. Peacock is a sly, cunning Satan, charming and sexy, cool and proud, defiant of God, Juan Chioran, who banished Satan and her followers to hell, incensed by the arrival of God's son and the required obedience to him, but still yearning for God's acceptance. And, above all else, she's angry, as many women are, deep down, and ready to tap into her darkest impulses if no other course is available. Another reason to see the show is Aaron Shields' irreverent, extremely funny and stingingly contemporary script. Satan is immediately accessible from her opening lines, I stared back up through the endless tunnel down which we'd been hurled, cursing the Almighty for sentencing us to hell. I mean, wouldn't you, many plays, in theory, try to implicate the audience in their plots, usually asking us to identify with their moral ambiguity? But Paradise Lost is the most effective production at the festival, not only through Shield's script but Maxwell's direction. The house lights are up, Peacock is magnetizing and Shields gives her words that are at once timeless and etched into this very time and place. Social media, Trump, climate change, these are our trigger words to listen up. She might be Satan, but at least she gets it, right? Let's hear her out. Ultimately, that's the biggest twist of the knife. As the story unfolds, the audience learns how this charmer is the reason we're not all living in perfect bliss in the Garden of Eden. In a terrifying tirade, Peacock rails against God, finally accepting her lot as the villain to his hero, unspooling a list of the darkest evil you can think of. At the same time, Satan proves the use of such a villain, try to resist the sweet relief of having someone to blame for murder and genocide and child sexual abuse and patriarchy in general, instead of grappling with the complexity that it comes from within humankind. These questions sneak up on you, because most of this two-act play flies by, filtered through Shield's creativity and sense of humor, performed by a cast of 12 and handled masterfully by Maxwell. Alongside Chiorin's God, World Weary with Knowledge, Gordon S. Miller is pure love with a backbone as God the Son and Sarah Dodd is a pleasure as Sin, a spurned former lover of Satan sacked with death Devin McKinnon, an aimless son guarding the gates of hell. Shields finds particular inspiration in her version of Eve and Adam, played by Amelia Sargasson and Kasim Khan, two innocent beings that evolved from an equal partnership to a contemporary critique of heterosexual relationships as a result of the forbidden fruit. With such an ambitious, sprawling play, it takes place everywhere and at every time, includes a play within a play, a musical number by the chorus of the chosen and the most luxurious garden imaginable, Judith Bowden's set design underwhelms, with a tower of button-up shirts and a white to black gradient as the main piece. Stratford's new works are risky for the festival so they get the smallest venue and often the smallest budgets. But when they work they're the hottest ticket, Paradise Lost has already been extended and the run is almost sold out.